Okay, in the previous video, I showed you how to find the second derivative. So now it's your turn to have a go. Find the second derivative of this. So press pause and, uh, and have a go. Okay, so to do this here, differentiate this. That will then give you 2x. Differentiate this. Re uh, remember the 2 goes down here. That will give you this. But then you've got it times by, by dy by dx. Okay, and then differentiate this. It will then give you this. Um, but bear in mind, this is what you're trying to get on its own. Okay, uh, so so take so take away two x from both sides, and then these two will cancel out, um, giving you giving you this. Okay, so now now you've got one thing multiplying with another thing. So divide both sides by y, so that will then give you this. Okay, so so your y prime equals this thing here. This is your key stage. Okay, so so now y prime is this. So we've got to differentiate it again. That will then give us y double prime. It's what we want. Y double prime. So um so I'm I'm just rewriting it. This thing is this thing here. But rewrite rewrite y prime as this. Uh, so we've got one thing multiplying another thing here. So we can now use a product rule instead of the quotient rule. Okay. So re rewrite rewrite this thing here as this or, or, or you can use a quotient rule it's up to you um, and then and then carry on differentiating it so here uh, when you're here differentiate both sides again so that will then give you y double prime and then so here your product you use a product rule here so remember product rule um, differentiate this leave this the same and then leave this the same differentiate this okay so looking at this here you've got so, so differentiate this, this will then give you minus 1, and then uh, leave this the same, that will be this being the same, and then on a separate occasion, uh, keep this the same, that's this bit here, and then remember this thing goes down, that will give you minus 1 here, and then y to the, and then this thing gets minus by 1, that's why you get this, okay, and then, uh, and then you've got to times dy by dx, or, or y prime here, well anyway, Use a product rule, differentiate this, it will then give you this. Okay? So now it's just a matter of tidying it up. So um so so visualize this here as uh as minus well, visualize this bit as this. Okay, and then and then here you've got one block one block here multiplying with another block. Merge these two together, that will give you a positive x. And then and then this this block here, uh, remember you've got you've got this block multiplying with this block multiplying with this block, multiplying with this block here. This one here, you can you can visualize it as that. And then this one here, well it's the same here. So basically um, all these here becomes this here. Okay? And remember remember from, from above, uh, y prime, we've already worked out y prime. Well don't forget we could leave it as this here, but we don't want the answer in terms of uh, the first derivative. Earlier we worked out that y prime Earlier we worked out that y prime is is this. This here is y prime. Okay, this here is y prime. So we can put this into the y prime. So so the answer will just be in terms of x and y as opposed to in terms of y prime. Okay. Well anyway, y prime is this. So let's put it into y prime here. So so y prime well y prime is this thing here. It's what we worked out earlier. So it's basically everything the same here. Uh, and then this is the same. Uh, but then we, we now know y prime, so we just put it into here. Okay. So now um now visualize it as well you've got a fraction times a fraction, so top times top, bottom times bottom, and then this one here gets multiplied to the top. So this so these three blocks here uh will will give you the will give you this here. Don't forget you've got a minus here. So uh so that that's this minus here. Okay. So basically this whole thing here simplifies to this. And now times uh, top and bottom by y squared here. Just just so that we uh we can merge the two fractions together. That will then give you this, and then now that the two denominators are the same, we can merge. Okay, so so y double prime equals this thing here. Okay?